This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. So imagine you just bought Need for Speed Unbound and you log into the multiplayer for the first time. You're in a B-class car. You finally get an event set up and you roll up against a Ferrari. And you're thinking, what the hell? Well, welcome to Need for Speed Unbound and welcome to a Ferrari in B-Class. So, of course, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to, well, a Ferrari in B-Class. Uh, throughout this video, I'll kind of tell you why you want to spend more than half a million dollars in in-game credits to get a Ferrari in B-Class. And my oh my, is it hysterical uh no this is not hacks this is completely legit in game but uh it would be better if there's other people that we could play against to kind of give you a reference of is this any good or is this just a meme because ferrari and b class is funny lol so we're in our garage uh we'll go to my rides and like i was saying it is a Ferrari 488 Pista. That is specifically the Ferrari we're looking for today. So, of course, you go to buy and sell. You scroll a long way over to S plus. Yes. So this car base is $283,000. So why would you be doing this? because it is objectively the best car in the B-Class and it's so counterintuitive, but it's amazing. So you've bought your Ferrari, you've uh, added some decals, you've added some new wheels. So how do you get to the B-Class? So uh, funny enough, it's actually an engine swap. So normally it is again in uh, S plus, but you'll go down to these first two and they don't look like that they're B-Class. So you're thinking, so what the hell? So you go to parts and you go over to drivetrain and you go over to your transmission and you drop it to a five speed. So again, you're not actually out of S class still. So, okay, what gives? You go to your engines and boom, the basic 563 horsepower, 5.5 V8, $320,000 gets you down to, you know, 108 in B class. So stupidly slow. The one that I've chosen that I have actually found a little bit more success with is the 7.0 liter V8, which gets you to about uh, 156 uh, in B rank. So that one is actually $210,000. So actually a significant discount over the worst worst engine so for parts like i've said before uh you've got the five speed manual transmission i've actually got the elite clutch and the elite uh differential and i don't know offhand if there's anything else i did differently a suspension is road and that was uh the elite brakes were uh, just the standard supers and then these were the elite tires grip and I think that gave you a couple extra points get you to the very 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 top of the B class so let us go into a race and see how it actually works versus normal other B class racers so how good is the Ferrari 488 Pista in the uh, B class. Well, our opponents today is a Plymouth Barracuda and ironically a Ferrari 488 Pista. So as far as our garbage engine is concerned, the cheaper one, uh, it is still currently destroying the Plymouth Barracuda. And it looks like that our other 488 Pista buddy, the one that is only 120 in rank, well, not rank, but in power or whatever, power points column, is uh, doing a, being a little bit faster than we are. So 
Who would have thought that the Ferrari 488 Pista is comparable to a Ferrari 488 Pista? Who would have thought? All right, so we're taking a look at the engines here, and the one that I've got technically actually does have the top speed. I'm it's just that the other one that we're up against had the uh, better acceleration. So I think that was what I we were seeing there. It wasn't the top speed, but it was the acceleration off blind there. So honestly, either way. Uh, either engine in my opinion would probably be fine it's just that again one's going to give you a little bit better top speed the other one's going to give you a better zero to 60 but they're both pricey engines as most engine swaps are but looking through all the different parts no additional parts can really increase that top speed much there so whatever you got there is whatever you got but of course you can you can probably find a, a good combo somewhere by you know getting the best uh zero to 60 time and maybe not the most amount of time taken off of the top speed so for instance like you know you're shaving off a mile an hour on your top end but then you're shaving off you know 0.1 of a second for your zero to 60 so if you're doing a lot of crashing or you want you know just that faster off the line i think there is a good combination of reducing the top speed um to get a little bit better zero to 60 but Man, when this car hits top speed at 100 ton, 111 miles an hour, yeah, it's it, you hit it pretty quickly. So that was a very quick tutorial on how I personally was able to create a Ferrari 488 Pista in the B class. Of course, there are many other YouTubers who have discussed this very topic who might have a couple of different uh, combinations and correlations to be able to get the best performance stats. Again, this was just what I did. So please, if you like this idea, uh, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. We've got some more Need for Speed Unbound videos coming out. But if, if this one didn't quite get what you're looking for, there's a lot of other resources out there that will give you potentially a better uh, performance stat, maybe a little bit higher top speed, maybe a little bit better acceleration. Again, this is just what I found out. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.